In this video, I will be recommending you a replacement for Minecraft. It is Mine Clone in the Mindest Game Engine. So, after you have installed Mindest, go in the Content tab here. Go in the content tab here, browse online content and then select games here and you can see here Mine Clone 2. You can also install Mine Clone 5, but I'm gonna recommend Mine Clone 2. Or or Mine Clone 5, that's also it doesn't matter, you can install either. You can choose either, it doesn't matter. Now, after you have installed it, as you can see it installed already. Now here this appears here, you select that. And then you can create your worlds. But before that I recommend going to the settings, all settings, searching for trade here, trade-offs for performance, under graphic effects, under graphics, under graphics and audio. I recommend enabling this, it will greatly increase the performance and the responsiveness of like the player movement, the, like the mouse movement when you look around. I recommend turning that on. Oh yes, and well you can optionally turn these off. This is your choice. Depending on your hardware, I'm just gonna turn those off as well. Or actually I'm gonna keep those. But oh yes, another one that I'm gonna recommend here in the settings is the uh, full screen. Full screen option because it has to be enabled here in the settings. I recommend enabling this. Just double click it, it enables that. Then back to settings page. There is a lot of other options you can do as your. You can do whatever you want in the options, but those are the options I recommend changing. Now, uh, you have to close the game, so hit ESC, the game closes, and then you have to restart the game so that it applies, applies the settings you made. So now that the game starts, you can see it's now in full screen because I enabled the full screen mode in the settings. After you have installed Mine Clone in the Mindest Game Engine, as I said, click here. Be sure to click it. You have to click it here. You might have other games installed by default. Depending on where you installed Mindest from, it might come with the Mindest Game. There is Mindest and Mindest Game are two different things. Mindtest is the engine, and Mindtest game is a very minimalist sort of Minecraft clone, like Minecraft Alpha clone or something like that, comparable to it. Those are two different game things. Mindtest is the game engine, and mine Mindtest game is the game, the minimalist game. It's just a default game. It's the sort of it just comes with the engine often installed by default, but it didn't come with me pre-installed here. It would be one of these options here, you can see Mine Clone here, and here you can see the plus. If you install more games, because this is a game engine, so when you go to the settings you can, or the content database, you can see here many games. These are different games. You can install different games in the game engine, and if I go here you can actually see the... I think you can actually, where it was? Let me actually show it to you. Uh, there, you can see here, this is the one. Mindest game. You can see, this is the Mindest game. This often comes pre-installed when you install Mindest. It didn't come pre-installed with me, but you can also install this from here, if you want. You don't have to install this, but this might come pre-installed, it might not, it doesn't matter. This is the one, but I'm just gonna demonstrate it to you for demonstration purposes, that's how you install it. And then, you can see it appears here. Mindest game, Mine Clone 2. Mindest game, Mine Clone 2. These are two different games, but it's one game engine, you can see. Mindest game engine, Mindest game is a very minimalist game, and then Mine Clone 2 is a Minecraft clone. Mine Clone 2 is what I recommend you uh, in this video, but you can also play Mindest game. In fact, you can play any game 
uh, the database you can you can install any of these games but specifically in this video i will be recommending you mind clone 2 so be sure to select mind clone 2 here and then here you can select creative mode and then damage enable and you can also host a server or whatever i have not investigated this i don't know about the server thing i don't know what it exactly does i'm not sure i have not investigated that myself but yeah after you've selected those or whatever you can go in the new world or you can also select those after you've created it doesn't matter go to new world you can create your world my world here's a few options you can enable and disable uh, here's the map generation these are uh, this affects the way the maps are generated so what sort of like how the world looks this affects that I'm just gonna keep the V7 as the default option here. Oh, oh, I hit S so it got out. Okay, okay I'm gonna have to go New World again here. Yeah. yeah, I'm gonna keep the V7. Then, yeah, you can change these things. Anyway, this is not that difficult. You just hit Create. I accidentally hit, hit the S key, or actually, whatever. I just got out of it. But yeah. Uh, if you install mods, here's the select mods option. And your mods would appear here. You can enable mods here. As you can see, I don't have any mods here. So the list is empty. All, all you can see here is the Mind Clone 2 mods, which is some default thing which appears to come with the Mind Test Clone 2 by default. But yeah, if you here go look for more mods, as you can see here, this is the games selection, when you select games, but if you select mods, you can install mods. Not all mods work with all games, but whatever. You can install mods and stuff and whatever. But yeah, you can enable mods here. The mods are enabled world by world, in, in a world by world basis. So each world can have its own mods, so like, you enable certain mods for this world and then you can create another world which uses different mods that's pretty cool you can have like you don't have in minecraft you have to restart minecraft entirely like you have to restart the game to change what mods you want to use but in mind test you just you have to you have different mods in different worlds you don't have to restart the game each mod e each world can have its own selection of mods you you use you don't have to restart the game just go, exit the world and go to a different world that's pretty good that's really good that's actually one of the many things that mind test does better than minecraft so as this video is a recommendation of mind clone yeah well actually let me just play game hit play game there yeah now as i was saying this in this video i will be recommending you mind test for a few reasons one, it is free as in freedom software, which means that it uses a license, a software license, which respects the user's freedom. That is the first and primary reason I recommend Mindtest and its games over Minecraft. Minecraft is proprietary software. Mindtest is free software, free as in freedom. And the second reason is that in a lot of ways, Actually, Mindtest is technically superior than Minecraft. So not only is it freedom-respecting software, but it's also technically superior in a lot of ways. Now sure, it might have some few shortcomings here and there, but that depends on the specific game you install. Now, you can see I'm here in the world now. The frame rate is pretty bad, because I'm actually in a virtual machine, but that doesn't matter. That's not relevant to this video. But yeah, you can see this is the world. It's a world. It it emulates Minecraft Minecraft features, so the biomes and everything is is the same as in Minecraft. Now when I open the inventory, as you can see it mimics the Minecraft look. Now this mind test game it has this annoying feature that you have to like if you want to scroll this list, you have to click this arrow here like this. This is annoying. 
but yeah it's pretty good pretty good it, it has basically all blocks it obviously is going to use its own textures it it doesn't use minecraft's textures these are all custom made for this mine clone game yeah so oh and also by the way change keys here but you hit esc you hit esc so it shows up this menu here change keys i recommend you change the inventory to e like it is in minecraft and then whatever this nonsense is set that to i just swap those because in minecraft when you hit the e key it opens the inventory that's not the case by default here that's annoying that's really annoying but yeah just set that like that and then you can have what on earth is that then you can have the E the same way. Now you can see, this is Minecraft basically. It has the blocks, it has the tools, that it has everything. It, this is Minecraft clone. It is well done. It is really well done. It basically has everything. And everything functions well. Let's demonstrate pistons with like redstone and stuff. Oh, that you can swap those out. That's weird. That's really weird. But yeah, let me just demonstrate you with like a piston and like redstone. It works. You can see this is this is Minecraft. It is actually it's actually really incredible as uh, how much then uh, how much work it has been done. Like. To make the game this similar to the actual Minecraft. You would think from like all the bad Minecraft clones out there. Or like bad internet websites. You can see those bad Minecraft clones. You would think that like they would all be bad. Like all, mine all Minecraft clones. But no, not really. This is really good. Like I think this is a very high quality clone of Minecraft. Like, the only shortcoming at the moment, like, I could think of is the, this annoying feature in the menu. Look at this. Hey, this arrow, this pisses me off. But surely if you get used to this, it's not that bad. And, like, surely it doesn't have all of the Minecraft's functionality, like, all the, uh, like, all this technical stuff, like the commands and, like, data packs, and it doesn't have... The mods that are made for Minecraft, and it doesn't have all of this content that is made for Minecraft. But that's sort of to be expected, as all of the content that is made specifically for Minecraft is going to be made for just Minecraft. You know, somebody has to make the content for Mine Clone as well. But like, yeah, considering that like it has all of the stuff already like m made, and like it all works. Like, it's not just some. Oh, that's annoying. It's not just some useless thing where nothing works. Like, this actually works. You can see all of these, like, the mechanics work and, like, it's... It does really work. Everything works. You can see that I cannot work through. And then when I open it, can walk through. The mechanics work. Everything works. I've tested everything here, like... Well, I mean, not everything, everything, but like I have gone through all of this, all of this stuff, and like it works. I have not, I have not found like anything that doesn't work. Like, oh yeah, demonstrate the couple. Do I mean like you can see I'm walking slow now? You know, it, it's Minecraft basically. So if you just like want to play Minecraft casually, like offline, of course, because like obviously Minecraft servers are not going to be compatible with Mine Clone and Mine Test. Obviously, but like if you just want to play some Minecraft like casually like it, this is really good. There's not really Like And you can see Chorus Floyd, I eat it, I teleport You can see, like in Minecraft, just like in Minecraft, you can see the particles are flying when I when I eat I was there and then I ate
yeah, you can see, you know, the, it's Minecraft. It's it has all the features. At least, like that's the intention, that's the goal, and the people behind Mine Clone, they are doing a really good job, really impressive work, actually. I do not really have any complaints to like the quality of this thing, the Minecraft clone. Now, if you want to do things like fly, then you have to use these commands. You have to grant yourself the uh, right to fly. The player name by default is single player. That's the name of the player. Each player is going to have like their own name, like in Minecraft commands, you have the player name. That's the player name, single player. You grant the player the right to fly. Now, when you hit uh, K on the keyboard, the player begins to fly. So, now you are flying. If you want to fly faster, you have to grant yourself the right to fast. So, that's the privilege for that. And then you hit J on the keyboard. And it enables the fast mode, and you and now 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 you can see that I'm flying fast. You can see these buildings here are pretty cool. Uh, uh, yeah, this is basically like you can also see that their mobs are spawning here. At least the last time, yeah, there it is. You can see pillagers here. Oh, and by the way, an interesting fact, a pretty cool thing. It is the. It is like close to like the Christmas now in real life as I'm recording this and just like in Minecraft you can see how the chests look like this so like that's one nice that's like that's like this cool thing like you would think that like they would just the creators of this mod which is not mod what am I saying the creators of this Minecraft clone they would like just you would think that like they would just forget this one not random detail that like at, when it's Christmas in Minecraft, the chests look like these gift boxes. You would think that we would just forget that, but no, it's here. You can see, I cannot find it, just have to search. Chest. Whoa, 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 whoa. Chest. There, you can see, chests. No, it's difficult to... Yeah, that is one of the shortcomings that I do have with this. One of the issues is the inventory management is... A bit difficult, but that's not too bad, no. Uh, you'll get used to it or whatever. Now you can see, this chest, the chests have the Christmas... Yeah, that's cool. Yeah, that's cool, look at it. Oh, whoa. I ate. I have to use K to fly. The K, K, K. Ender chest. Whoa, that's weird. I don't know what's going on there. You can see that in my inventory it has the gift box, but when I place it down it doesn't. Well, whatever, doesn't matter all that much. You can see that, like, you know, that is that is cool. Like this random detail, like this Easter egg in Minecraft. Even even that's here. So that goes to show just how high quality the Mine Clone really is. It really has everything. Like, it is a very high quality clone of Minecraft. In fact, I believe it to be superior, like, the technicality of, like, mind test, specifically, like, the mind test, mind test as a game engine is superior to Minecraft. It has all of these, as I mentioned, I explained the, how the mods work, you can install the mods for the worlds, specifically. That is a one huge, that is one huge difference between, like, the, that is a very good improvement compared to like Minecraft where you have to shut down the game and restart the game to apply different mods. And if you are using the official launcher, you get you have to like go to the file system on your computer and move around the files and that's stupid. That is stupid. When you're using a like a third party launcher, you can have like these different instances of Minecraft. But even that's still bad because you have to still restart the game. That's stupid. In Minecraft, you just get out of the world and you go to a different world. And it applies the mods on a world by world basis. That is like that is a one major like improvement. That is that is way better than Minecraft. That is way better than Minecraft. Oh and by the way, these music discs they have a uh, a freely licensed music on them. 
uh, as far as I'm aware, like, they have to be. I'm, I'm, yes, they are. The license of these songs is a free-to-use license. I'm not going to play them right now, but... Anyway, yeah, that's, that's an interesting detail. Obviously, it's not going to use the Minecraft music, because the music in Minecraft is copyrighted. And this game has nothing that, like... This game has no assets that are from Minecraft, as you can see, like I explained or mentioned. All the textures are, like, they are all made for this clone specifically. None of this stuff is taken from Minecraft. All of these textures have been made, all of the assets have been made, like, from the, from scratch, is the expression. All of this is made from scratch. Let me also demonstrate the Ender Pearl. It looks bizarre, it's red. But, wait, oh, yeah, I throw it with the left click, that's actually interesting. Left click throws. But yeah, it works, you can see. Everything works, it's, it is, it is a working game engine and a Minecraft clone. The Mine clone, it, it is a pretty impressive piece of work. Here you can select your skins. Just, yeah, you can also, like, you can customize your skin, that's pretty cool. You can do it in the game. I, you know, it's... It, it's, it's, you can do all the game, game, it's pretty cool. In Minecraft you have to, like, do all this nonsense with, like, whatever, with, like, like, stupid accounts, and you have to, like, go to, like, these websites and create your skin and, like, whatever, and it's all nonsense, you know, it's nonsense. Here you just do it in the world. You know, this is... I'm customizing my skin now, that's cool. Right. That's cool. And, like, in mind test, it is also free of cost. I already mentioned that mind test is free software, as in, free as in freedom. It respects the user's freedom, it grants the user's the free, four freedoms. But it's also free in price too, so this release, like, not only is Mindtest technically superior to Minecraft, and Mineclone has basically all Minecraft's content, even as far as using this obscure easter egg as making chests look like Christmas gifts. But it's also free of cost, so there's no reason not to use, like, mind this. No, I mean, obviously there are reasons. If you want to play specifically Minecraft servers, or you want to use, like, some content made for Minecraft, like, mods made for Minecraft and things like that. Obviously that's not available in, in mind this. But if you want to play, if you want to have an offline vanilla experience, then there's no reason to have, like, a. there's no reason not to use mind test instead. If you're just some casual Minecraft player who just wants to play some offline Minecraft a little, yeah, mine mine clone is it's perfect. It has everything. All of the stuff works. Let's use the dropper. Put redstone there. Yeah, it's coming in my inventory. You can see in my inventory here, redstone is counting up. Yeah, it, it really works, right? It's all, it all works. It's good. It's really good. It works. It's, it's incredible and it's pretty good. I recommend you use. Oh, and that's. Let's look at that. This thing, proving stand, that looks interesting. Look at the way it looks. Oh, look at that. It has like this cool 3D like shape. You can see this. That's cool looking. Look at that. Even Minecraft cannot do that. Look at that. Like it's actually three dimensional now. In mind test, it's this stupid weird 2D surface like weird thing. But this is good. Look at that. And you can see also the hitbox is like... You can see how the hitbox even works, look at the... Mind, mind test really is technically super. look at this. The hitbox is like... Look at this, how precise the hitbox is. Like, see, look at this. The hitbox is perfect, you can see it, it perfectly 
aligns with the stuff. Look at this. Even Minecraft cannot do this. In Minecraft, you have these stupid bulky hitboxes, like, and like, whatever, and this is just interesting. Look, look at this. This is cool. This. I mean, sure, it might make it hard to hit the thing, because, like, you have to hit it, but it's good. Look at this, cool. That's just cool, like, like, it's just like a technical level, like, this is cool. You know, even Minecraft can do this, you know, that's cool. I mean, I, I suppose Minecraft can do it, but it doesn't do it. It doesn't do it. Yeah, this is a bit difficult. The inventory management, yeah, it doesn't really work at the moment. Yeah, it's a bit difficult. The inventory management is a bit difficult, yeah. But that's a minor, minor issue right now. Let's put this thing there. Then put redstone there. You can see the redstone starts to decrease here. And here in the chest, it starts to increase. Everything works. All the mechanics, all of it works. Why did it stop? Oh, it's just slow to update. Yeah, it's coming. It's just... Oh, yeah, it doesn't update when I... I wait, what? Wait, what's going on? I don't know what's going on here. Maybe that's just a bug. Uh, 15, 13, 12. I do not know what's going on there. Maybe that's just a bug. Yeah, maybe that is a bug. Yeah, it might not be perfect. Uh, it does increase. I don't know what's going on there. Maybe, who knows? It's still going up. It's still going up. You can see it. You can see it's going up. There's just something. It's just a bit slow to update, perhaps. Whatever. It's still going up. So technically, it works. It does work. You can see the thing is going there. It's working, right? If I just update, keep updating like that. You can see it's going up. And now there's nothing here. That's good. It did work. It did work. It might may have been a little slow to update, but it did work. Everything works. This is this is a clone of Minecraft, and like it's a good clone. It's a really good clone. It works. So that's for this. That's it for this video. I will be making videos about mind test and like tutorials, how to do things, and uh, reviews and recommendations and all of such content. I will be making about mind test and the games made for it. Mind test, of course, is the game engine, as I've already explained in detail, <laughs> in great detail. And then the games that are available for mind test, I will be making recommendations, reviews, perhaps something like that. The amount of those videos that I will make, I don't know, but I will be making some videos like that. There are a lot of those people there, let's go see. This guy has the flag on his head. You can see all the content is uploaded, uh, up cloned. Wait, that guy's gonna die. But uh, there is another thing that I didn't show you yet, but I'm showing it now actually. Yeah, let me conclude the video by showing you the one last thing, which is the caves. This is a light source. The caves are different than in Minecraft. You saw the uh, the world generation option that I selected, right? I'm I believe that's like the that effect that influences the way the caves are generated, but regardless of what causes it, you can see the caves are actually different than in Minecraft. The caves are not similar. The caves are actually better in my opinion. You can see actually, like, when I'm just flying around here, you can see these look way different than in Minecraft. So I'm just gonna show you around this place and then I'm gonna end the video there. I'm gonna show you the cave as a, like, a good conclusion. Let's go here. This that is. There are a lot of. Yeah, it does continue here. Yeah, well, that's it. You can see the caves are different. Right? They have these good. And you can see the Enderman look pretty interesting because it, the eyes are glowing in the dark and they have that blue color instead of purple. You can see what the caves look like. They are way different than in Minecraft. You can see. Minecraft has way more boring caves like well actually not these days but, but i meant to say that for a long time minecraft had like very boring caves now it has weird caves in the very new versions actually i haven't even played those versions yet that's why i messed up and said that it has boring caves because i didn't even remember but anyway oh that's weird i can see 
to do with the world if I place the block somehow. Whatever, that was just a bug, who cares? But, yeah, yeah, well, well, whatever. Yeah, well. Mind clone, mind test, good stuff. I recommend. Look at this place. This is cool. Compared to the many previous versions of Minecraft, this is a pretty good cave generation in my opinion. And even even still, it is compared to the new caves too. It might not be better. I mean, that's your opinion. You can decide for yourself what what sort of caves you like. But I think this is a solid way of cave generation. Now, what was this thing here? I believe the F5. Yeah, andesite. It's it's blue. That's a weird color for andesite. Anyway, F5 shows you the frame rate and stuff. You can see. And then if I hit five F5 again, it shows these things. And then again, it's able to. Yeah, that's it for the video. I will be ending the video now. Good stuff. I recommend you at least at least take a look at like the mind clone and mind test. Uh, the difference between the uh, the the the, the uh, there was the mind clone two and mind clone five. Actually, there is a slight difference. As far as I'm aware, like the mind clone two has like late uh, uh, older where has older versions like content from older versions. You can see here actually in the mind that mind clone five it mentions with no release milestones uh, rapid delivery merits. So you can see it like uh, what this basically means is that mine clone 2 is uh, outdated in a way. It has content from older versions of Minecraft. It doesn't have content from the very newest versions. Whereas mine clone 5 has content from like a as new as well, it's like it's more up to date than mine clone 2. But with that may or may not come some uh, instability. Something like that may come from having a more rapid delivery of content. So, yeah, I, that's why I don't know Minecraft, Mine Clone 2, but like, they are basically the same thing, Mine Clone 2 and Mine Clone 5. Mine Clone 5 has newer content. Basically. You know, it's you can you can download both or either it doesn't really matter you know eventually the features are going to find their way in mind clone 2 anyway so like doesn't matter that much you know what which one you you can choose both you can do whatever it's your game but whatever when you install the game it's your you you do whatever you want i'm just here to recommend you stuff now that's it for the video thanks for watching uh like share subscribe on the next video bye